I'm Bob Sabin, a consulting engineer with Emerson's Industrial Energy team. And I'd like to talk for a few moments about optimization of combustion processes on industrial sites. So combustion is very common on industrial sites. We have boilers, furnaces, heaters, incinerators, many types of combustion operations. Operating these in an optimal way is key to achieving our business goals, but achieving optimal operation is often not easy. And there's three obstacles that Emerson commonly sees that are preventing good operation. Number one is load variation. In the industrial environment, we don't have the luxury of running at steady state. Our boilers and our heaters continually run up and down in load depending on the process conditions around the rest of the plant. That's a challenge for combustion. It would be much easier if it was steady state, but there are technologies and techniques to address this load variation issue. So Emerson builds from the bottom up, gets the measurement and the devices right, and then applies special control configuration techniques that are particularly designed for addressing load variation. So progress can be made on that. The second issue is fuel variation. Even natural gas, which is considered our most consistent fuel, varies something like 10% in energy content per volume over time. On top of that, many sites are using some kind of a waste fuel or off gas. So refinery gas, blast furnace gas, uh, black liquor, biomass, all these fuels are hugely variable in energy content. That's a challenge for combustion. So special techniques are needed in combustion control to manage that and to deal with it in order to have most optimal and cost-effective performance. Emerson has developed specific control strategies to address the fuel, uh, fuel variation problem. We have eliminated fuel to air curves and do it totally math-based and are accomplishing great results in using low-cost fuels and optimizing fuel cost over time. The third issue is the impact of equipment failure. Obviously, when an, a piece of equipment fails, it severely, can severely disrupt our combustion operations. The trick is to identify something that is going to fail before it fails. So the technology exists today to monitor our pumps, our blowers, all the critical devices around a combustion process, and they will tell us when there is something going wrong and is going to cause us an outage in the near future. We can shut down or in an orderly manner and address it before it causes a big production impact. So those are three big issues that can be overcome and allow us to achieve better business results with our combustion processes. I hope that you'll either visit your local Emerson office or see us on online to learn more. Thank you.